participants of class 5 uh, now, uh, welcome to the first video of the final examination and the chapter is 14 the world from 1914 to 45 okay so i hope that everybody is fine out there and happy new year to everyone children so let's start it clear now in this chapter we are going to learn about uh, the world uh, how was the world from 1914 to 1945 clear <clears throat> In the first half of the 20th century, they changed the course of the world history. Okay, so at that time, two world wars were fought and which created a lot of devastation and loss of human life and materials. Clear? So what happened? Entire cities had to be built. So world prayed for peace. Clear? So today we are going to learn about the first world war. Now, the First World War, also known as the Great War, which lasted from 20th July 1914 to 11th November 1918. Many countries were involved in it and it was fought between the two powers, the world powers. One is the elite powers and the other is the central power. Clear children? Now, <clears throat> now what happened here? What caused the war? Why the war was been fought between the elite powers and the central power? So in the two decades preceding the first world war, countries where they were competing against each other. Okay. Why? To develop and to acquire more of the weapons. So countries were also, they were forming a political and military alliances to protect themselves. Atmosphere at Europe was very, very tense at that time. You know, when there's a war going on, the uh, country becomes very tense, children. So, on 20th June 1914, Archduke Franz Ferdinand, okay, he was the uh, ruler to the throne of Austria-Hungary. He was assassinated by the Serbian. Assassinated means what? He was been killed by the Serbian troop. So, soon, Australia, what happened? Austria, they declared war on Serbia. So as most countries that already form alliances, they joined in to protect their allies. Now, how was the war fought? Okay, in first we know about what caused the war. Now, how the war was fought? Battles were fought in different countries. So in Europe, you'll find out the fighting took place along the Western Front and along the Eastern Front. So if you're talking about the Western Front, they're of the France, Belgium side. France, Belgium side, the European countries. And the Eastern Front is the Russia, that is known as USSR. Now, the war was mostly fought from the trenches. So here, you can see that soldiers, they dug open tunnels in the ground. They hid in, the, hid in them and fired from them. As you can see in this picture, you can see that uh, the uh, soldiers, they are with the weapons. They have uh, dug the open tunnels in the ground. Machine guns and heavy artillery were also used extensively. Now, tanks and poison gas, they are also used for the first time. German submarines known as the U-boats sank many ships of the elite powers. Okay. Now, India also supported Britain in the hope that Britain would grant them the self-government after the war. Indian soldiers, they also fought in Europe, Africa, as well as the West Asia. Okay. Now, how did the war end? So, war ended in November 1918. And the allied powers, they emerge victorious. Okay, they become victory. And both signed an armistice. Now, next one is the interwar years. Now, after the war, a peace conference was held in Paris. That is known as the Treaty of Versailles, which was signed between the Germany and the allied powers. Clear? Germany was uh, being blamed for the war and they were severely punished. Main terms of the treaty are Germany would have to pay a very, very heavy fine. Clear? Now, it could not increase its military forces and some of its territory were under occupied by the allied powers. Okay? Now, the First World War shook the world. Shook means what? It created a lot of tension, lots of problem. So, what happened? To prevent a such kind of a war in the future, the League of Nations was formed. And its objective was what? To solve the dispute. Dispute means what? Any kind short of a problems, okay? Between the countries and to maintain the world peace, okay? Now, after the war, what happened? There was very hardship for the people of Europe. Then came the Great Depression. Great Depression means what? Financial condition, okay? Which is very worse in 1929. Why? Because, because it become worse? Because all the monies, there have been 
uh, expend or they have been uh, spent in the wars. Now for that reason what happened? Trade suffered, factories and the banks closed down and millions of people they lost their jobs. Clear? Now the effect were particularly shiver in Europe and America. Clear? Now the formation of the League of Nations did not bring peace to Europe. Not at all. So this period saw two of the dictators at that time. They were the Benita, Benito Mussolini in Italy and Adolf Hitler in Germany. Okay. And even children, if you have not heard about Mussolini, I hope you have heard about Adolf Hitler in Germany. Clear? Now, Hitler was more ambitious of the two. He became the Chancellor in 1933. His ambition was what? To turn Germany into a superpower. Okay. Plunge the war in world into the another world war clear now i hope you have seen the pictures of uh, the adolf hitler also clear <clears throat> now after what is coming second world war second world war was many time more destructive than the first war more dangerous okay so it started on first september 1939 and lasted six years now you can think that children like the first world war there also the war fought between the two blocks one is the allied powers and the another is the axis powers clear now in this war i hope children or i don't hope i won't say i we all know that people they lost their lives so here second world war what happened 70 million people they lost their lives clear now what was the reason for the war okay now <clears throat> Germany was made to pay a very heavy price, you all know, in the First World War. So what happened? It already totally ruined the German economy, okay? So the Germans become very, very angry, okay? They started, began to support the Adolf Hitler, okay? Because they saw Adolf Hitler as their god, okay, as their savior. So Hitler also promised in return to restore the glory of Germany. So what happened? Hitler, he began to strengthen the military to expand the German Empire, clear? Yeah. Now, the rising military might of the Germany alarmed the other European powers also. Britain and France, they decided to take a combined stand against the Hitler. So when the Hitler attacked Poland, what happened? After that, Britain and France, they declared war on Germany. And soon after what happened, other countries, they also joined, okay, either of the two warring parties. So thus become the Second World War, okay. Now, how was the war fought? How? So war was fought on land as well as the air as well as the water. Now at that time poison gas was also used on soldiers and the civilians alike. Okay. There were air raids. There were bombs were being dropped on the cities. Many cities were raised to the ground. Warship and submarines were also used by the both sides. Clear. Now here Hitler's. He used to held Jews responsible for the Germans' disruption. Okay. He had then, what, what he used to do? He used to send these Jews to a concentration camp. Concentration camp means what? Where these Jews have been killed. Okay. Now, condition in these camps were very inhuman. Okay. Jews were tortured. And, and it is estimated that more than 6 million Jews died in this camp. And this event is known as a Holocaust. Clear? Now, war also spread to the Pacific region. Now, Japan won major victories here. I hope children, you have already heard about Hiroshima and Nagasaki. They were the two cities, island cities of J um, Japan. Now, what happened? On 7th December 1941, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor. Okay, Pearl Harbor is America's naval base in Hawaii. And this led USA to join the war on the side of the elite powers. Okay. Now, when did the war end? Now, Germany had the upper hand in the war till mid-1948-42. Allied powers, they re recovered and dealt a crushing defeat to Germany and Japan. So, by the beginning of 1945, Hitler knew what? That he could not win. So, what happened? He committed suicide. His whole family committed suicide. And on the other hand, children, what you can see... On 7th May 1945, when Japan uh, attacked the Pearl Harbor, America's naval. Now, what happened here? In August, USA dropped atom bombs on the two Japanese cities, that are Hiroshima as well as Nagasaki. In, in this picture, you can find it. You can see children. As you can see, that the atomic bo uh, bomb looked like a mushroom. Okay. 
now this forced japan to surrender and this is how the war end okay so for what reason efforts to set up a peace organizations after the two world wars on 24th october 1945 the united nation was formed okay why to establish more peace throughout the world is it clear so we have already completed this chapter i'm going to send you the home assignment which you need to write it down in your copy but one thing children that exercises like uh, tick the correct answer you need to do of your own in your book thank you children